हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल स्टेप बाई स्टेप इन दिस डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप सीरीज इन दार्ट वन वी सॉ वॉट आर ऑल द रूल्स वी नीड टू फॉलो वाई मेकिंग द डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वी सॉ हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट दैट रूल इन द बीम्स एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप ऑफ अ फ्रेम लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड सिंस इन द फर्स्ट सेकेंड पार्ट वी गेट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हाउ टू मेक द डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप फॉर बीम्स here the two major rules has been implemented that is the rule of continuity of member and continuity of support and today we are going to implement the rule of continuity of joint before moving ahead just hit a like button tap on subscribe and press the bell icon it will not cost you anything but it will definitely help us to motivate to make a such kind of technical animated videos for you and don't skip the concepts because every small concept will help you to understand the further next coming concepts and this time i'm going in the little deeper technicalities of this analysis of the frame like structure Now let's start understanding the concept of deflector shape with this half frame structural model. In this model, let us apply a point load at the center of the beam portion. Now pause the video for a second and try to find what would be the deflector shape due to this point load for this structure. Most of you have drawn the deflector shape of this structure like this by the applying two rules that is continuity of the support and continuity of the joint that is you have to maintain the 90 degree angle at the rigid joint that is correct but here one minor correction you need to be done as per this deflector shape if it would be a simply supported beam then this deflector shape is absolutely correct but since this column is also attached with the beam portion so the deflected shape will definitely going to affect somewhere if you miss this correction then you won't be able to find the point of inflection at the deflected shape in this beam portion so what's the correction if you notice this joint very clearly then you will notice that in the column portion there is an anti clockwise moment due to that this is bending like this and there is an anti clockwise moment in beam portion also due to that this deflector shape you have made since in both the portion you have applied anti clockwise moment then this joint is not in equilibrium state and there is no additional point moment at the joint hence this deflector shape is not possible so to make the accurate deflected shape we have one special rule that is the joint has to be in equilibrium state rule is simple at one portion anti clockwise moment will come and another portion clockwise moment will come so that it will counterbalance each other and the joint will remain in the equilibrium state ab agar hum ye concept deflected shape mein apply kare to concept ye hai कि जो 90 डिग्री का एंगल है वो तो मेंटेन रहेगा देन वहाँ से आइधर दोनों मेंबर इनवर्ड डिस्प्लेस हो जाएंगे या दोनों मेंबर आउटवर्ड डिस्प्लेस हो जाएंगे एंड इन दोनों केसेस में हमारे स्ट्रक्चर का केस कौन सा होगा ये फाइंड करने के लिए हमको बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम की हेल्प लेनी पड़ेगी एज पर द कैलकुलेशन द बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर विल बी लाइक दिस As per this bending moment diagram, in our case, it will be like both the member will tend to move inwards from its joint portion. So this will be our final deflected shape of this structure. Here you will get to notice that in this structure we are getting two point of inflection. It means we are having two point of bending moment diagram is a zero value. Please take a note. that this special rule has to be only followed when there is no applied point moment at the joint 
Now let's check this deflected shape we have made through this track pro. So let's start with the new project. Space frame structure deflect shape and we'll provide this. We'll provide the length unit as a meter and force unit as a kilonewton. Then finish. So let's start with the nodal coordinates. So let's begin with the 00, zero coordinates and the second coordinate for the column will be uh, 4 meter. I'm setting 4 meter as a length of the column and uh, 4 meter as a length of the beam. Okay, so we need just three nodes here. Now let's uh, add the beam over here. So the beam is added and uh, now let's go to the general and uh, specify the property adding defining a property i'm going to assign is a rectangular section as a depth of 0.3 meter and the width also 0.3 meter over the concrete material adding it now let going to assign both for the same material assigned to the selected beam so the material is assigned here and the property also specified now go to the specification no specification is needed for this case adding the support create a support fix support i'm going to add at the bottom for the column and one pin support also needed for the beam portion at the right side so here let's assign to this fix support at the bottom of the column assign to selected node and this has a pin support assigned to selected node okay assigned here so now we are going to apply the node load uh, cases so let's add the load here i'm just uh, uh, applying the live load over here give the live load name and here we'll add the magnitude of the load so in the member load we have to add a concentrated force uh, since the beam length is 4 meters, so at the mid part I am going to apply, so at the 2 meter distance I am going to apply the node, node and uh, here minus 100 I am going to apply at the downward portion, so that's why minus 100 kN in the GY direction. Okay, let's add it and uh, assign to this beam, use cursor to assign, assign to selected beam. So here the load is applied now and uh, let us show uh, now okay just I uh, have to go to the analysis and print print all and uh, have to add the perform analysis and uh, just have to run save the structure since so here then um, project is analyzed with the zero error and zero warnings let's go to the post, post processing mode for this live load case only in one case we have applied so okay so first let us see the bending moment diagram as per what we have made the model so the bending moment diagram is like this here we'll show the load uh, at the center and uh, due to that load this bending moment diagram is made uh, this made by the stat pro and we have also done the calculations and we have made like this only okay so now uh, due to this bending moment what will be the displacement that we have to know huh? so okay this, let's exaggerate the view a little bit okay so this is our final deflect shape of this structure uh, so we have uh, we have designed it correctly and uh, as per the stat model also we have checked so our rule whatever we have applied is correct and uh, we can go through this rule okay so thank you very much stay tuned with me and uh, we are going to upload the next uh, upcoming video regarding the complete portal frame and we'll analyze the deflected shape also there and with the help of stat pro we'll check it also so thank you very much share the content with your friends and colleagues and hope we'll see meet in the next video <laughs>